hundred mm and two fifty mm respectively, carry the vertical load of hundred kilo newton at an average at an at the outer edge of the column. Full stop. Calculate the maximum minimum intensity of stress in this section. So first of all, write down the given data. The external diameter is given. Capital D is equal to three hundred mm. Three hundred mm. And small d, small d, internal diameter it is given. That is, small d is equal to two fifty mm. Small d is equal to two fifty mm. Two fifty mm. Carry the load of at p is equal to one hundred kilo newton. One hundred kilo newton. So convert it is in newton. One hundred into ten to the power three. Ten to the power three in newton. Okay. Age of the column, so it is acted at the age of the column. That is means eccentricity it is eccentricity it is three hundred divided by two. At the outer edge it is acted. So center of to the outer edge it will be one fifty mm. So that's why eccentricity it is one fifty mm because load acted at load acted at outer edge outer edge okay. outer edge. I will explain once again. See, this one it is outer diameter of this. This one it is circular section. So it is acted at the outer edge. Here it is outer edge. So this one it is center of this section. Okay. So total it is outer diameter it is three hundred m. Three hundred m. Okay. Three hundred m. So eccentricity it is measured from the center of the column to the applied load. Okay. So applied load it is outer edge. So this distance it will be called eccentricity. Okay. So outer edge it is three hundred. Three hundred divided by two it will be one fifty m. That's why e is equal to One fifty. Okay. Then next it will be calculate the maximum and minimum intensity of stress in the section. First of all, calculate area. Area for this hollow circular section it is pi in bracket d square capital D square capital D square minus Capital D square minus small d square minus small d square minus small d square divided by four divided by four. So area formula is pi in bracket capital D square minus small D square by four. Okay. So all this value is equal to pi into pi in bracket capital D square it is three hundred three hundred square three hundred square minus small D square it is small D square it is two fifty square. Two fifty square. Two fifty square divided by four. Two fifty square divided by four. This one it is area formula for hello circular section. Okay, so A is equal to if you get A is equal to fifty five into three hundred square minus two fifty square divided by four. It will be. Twenty-one, twenty-one point five nine eight five nine eight into ten raised to the power ten raised to the power three mm square mm square. So this one it is area for a low circular section. I will note down this. A is equal to A is equal to twenty-one point five nine eight into ten raised to the power three mm square. Okay. Next moment of inertia for a low circular section. Calculate moment of inertia. 
मोमेंट ऑफ एनर्जी टू बी आई इज इक्वल टू आई इज इक्वल टू पाए पाए इन ब्रैकेट कैपिटल डी रेस्ट टू फोर कैपिटल डी रेस्ट टू फोर माइनस माइनस स्मॉल डी रेस्ट टू फोर माइनस स्मॉल डी रेस्ट टू फोर माइनस स्मॉल डी रेस्ट टू फोर डिवाइड बाय सिक्सटी फोर डिवाइड बाय सिक्सटी फोर डिवाइड बाय सिक्सटी फोर दिस वन इट इज मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया तो वाइ इट इज वाई बार इज इक्वल टू इट विल बी डी बाय टू कैपिटल डी बाय टू कैपिटल डी बाय टू Outer diameter divided by two. If we get y bar, y bar. So z section modulus, section modulus z is equal to z is equal to section modulus z is equal to i by one, i by one, i i is moment of inertia divided by y bar, divided by y bar. So just simplify this equation. Z is equal to so it will be get it will be get pi pi in bracket in bracket d raised to four d raised to four d raised to four minus small d raised to four minus small d raised to four small d raised to four Small d raised to four divided by divided by divided by thirty two d divided by thirty two capital D. Okay. So this one it is section modulus for hollow circular structure. It's i by one. So pi it is pi. Put all these values pi into capital D it is capital D value. External diameter it is three hundred raised to four. Three hundred raised to four. Three hundred raised to four. Minus two fifty raised to four. 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 Divided by. Divided by. Thirty two into d. Divided by. Thirty two. Into capital D is three hundred. It will be get section modulus Z is equal to so six pi into pi three hundred raised to four minus two fifty raised to four divided by divided by thirty two into three hundred. It will be get one point three seven two. One point three seven two into ten raised to the power ten raised to the power six and mm raised to four and mm raised to four and mm raised to four. So this one it is section modulus for the hollow circular for hollow circular. Okay. So now direct stress calculate. So sigma max is equal to Sigma max is equal to T by A, T by A plus M by Z. Sigma max is equal to T by A, T by A, T by A, T by A. T by A plus M by Z. Plus m by n. Plus m by n. Plus m by n. It is. It is. You know, hundred kilonewton. Hundred into ten to the power three divided by. Yeah, it is. Cross sectional area. It is. Cross sectional area. I'm not sure. It is twenty one point twenty one point five nine into ten to the power three. Ten to the power three. 
then plus then plus m by z m by z m it is p into e so we need to first find out the we need to first find out the m m is equal to m is equal to p into e p into small e small e that is eccentricity it is 100 into 10 to the power 3 is converted into newton into 150 150s so it will be get m so m is equal to so m is equal to it will get in newton mm m is equal to 100 into 10 to the power 3 into 150s so it will be 15 into 10 to 6 15 into 10 to the power power 6 Newton mm, Newton mm. So put this value here. So 15 into 15 into 10 to the power 6 Newton mm divided by z it is Hm modulus z it is z it is 1.3 1.372 into 10 to the power 6. Sigma max is equal to so p by a just by on p by a it is 100 into 10 to the power 3 thereby 21.59 into 10 to the power 3 so it will be 4.63 4.63 then plus m by j it is 15 into 10 to the power 6 you have 1.372 into 10 to the power 6 it will be 10.93 10.93 10 so sigma max is equal to right now sigma max is equal to 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 4.63 plus 10.93 it will be 15.56 15.56 Newton per mm square. Newton per mm square. Sigma minimum is equal to. 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 E by A. That is minimum intensity. Sigma minimum is equal to. E by A. P by A. P e by A minus M by J. E P by A minus M by J. So it will be minus E by minus M by J. P by it is value 4.63, 4.63 minus 10.93, 10.93. So we get sigma minimum is equal to 4.63 minus 10.93. We get minus 6.3, minus 6.3 newton per mm square. So minus indicates it will be in tension. We can write down it will be sigma minimum is equal to sigma minimum is equal to sigma minimum is equal to minus indicated to be 6.3 6.3 per mm square in bracket to be in tension to be in tension to be in tension. So draw the spray diagram. So maximum it will be in the direction of force it will be how much? 15.56, 15.56 newton per mm square. And minimum it will be 
minus this value will be minus. The minus how much this value will be six point three. Six point three meter per inch. Okay. So this one it will be tension. That is minus. And this one will be plus. Maximum intensity it is fifteen point five six newton per mm square and minimum intensity it is six point three newton per mm square. 